The chase of a new watch is always fun, but fun comes with responsibility and accountability. What's up people, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about the Omega Swatch Snoopy collection. Oops, did I feature the wrong watch again? On the very same day after I posted my review video on the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch Professional White Dial, the Swatch Group launched their latest and perhaps final collection of their Moon Swatch. Talk about perfect timing. If you've not had the chance to check out that video, I'll put a link in the description below. If you didn't know, on 21st March 2024, Swatch landed on their website this piece of news. Yes. Puns are intended in this video. If you've not had the time to check out their website or read all the articles out there in the galaxy, you've descended on the right video. Here is me trying to summarize everything out there to all you need to know and share how you can get a Snoopy watch. The all white slash monochrome color on the watch and velcro strap resembles the cartoon character in Peanuts and spacesuits worn by astronauts. Everything else is more or less the same with the previous models. You have the Omega X swatch branding on the dial and the S etch in the center of the box-shaped Biosource glass. The step-down subdials, the sharp and smooth lux construction, the iconic dot over 90 detail on the tachymeter scale biosomeric bezel and case, green loom over the indices hour, minute and second hands, and the quartz movement are all standard. The Snoopy is labelled Mission to the Moon Face. Hence, the obvious difference between this and the other moon swatch is the subdial at the 2 o'clock, which showcases a moon face indicator. The problem with moon face indicator is that most people don't really appreciate it because it doesn't really display an accurate depiction of the moon. Whenever we adjust the time and date on our watch, most of us couldn't care less about what the moon is like on that day. Not because we don't value the added function, but it's just too much hassle to figure out what the moon is like on that day or where to even begin. Swatch thoughtfully made it easy for us by allowing us to correspond with the date and moon phase indicator on their website. Smart! If you're a crypto investor or just someone who enjoys this video so far, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support the channel as it will help me to carry on to make more videos like this and to ensure that there will be a 100x on all our cryptos in this bull run. Let's go to the moon! Thank you! Another unique feature on the moon face indicator is that it moonlights a celestial secret on the face mask and this. Under an ultraviolet light, you will see the hidden quote from Snoopy comic strip on the mask and the stars and moon on the disc. Instead of a green loom, this celestial scene glows in blue. Another subtle difference you will notice on the dial is that Swatch have completely removed the circular motifs on the subdials, a feature that exists in the other moon swatch. Last but not least, the battery cover at the back has a cartoon moon with a Snoopy paw print. Now, about getting this watch. First thing you need to know is that this watch will only be available on the 26th of March 2024 onwards and the same can only be sold in stores, one watch per person per time. Nope, you can't buy this online. Second thing you need to know is that this is not a limited edition watch. Be that as it may, if this watch received the same response as how the original Moon Swatch did in 2022, which I think it will, unless you are willing to queue up the night before the 26th, chances are it will be sold out on the first day and you may have to wait a while until the next batch arrives. Oh by the way, did you know that the 25th is a full moon? It's rather poetic of Swatch to have made such arrangement in allowing you to queue and wait underneath the bright moonlight. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Or it could just be a coincidence since the original Moon Swatch were launched on the 26th March 2022. And I digress. Alternatively, you can purchase the Snoopy from Scalpers who's gotten the watch before you did. If history has taught us anything, is that the prices on these things can be quite crazy. However, that's not encouraged. Or you can do what I would do, and that's to wait patiently until the hype dies down. 
The chase of a new watch is always fun, but fun comes with responsibility and accountability. As a watch collector myself, I've acquired many watches and if you followed my channel in the past, you would have seen the type of watches I collected. Yes, spending money on something you don't need can be questionable. Hence, my mantra for watch collecting is to never purchase above retail. Unless of course it's a discontinued model or an extreme rare piece that I really really want. There is life beyond watch collecting, you know. When it comes to personal finance, not only should you be accountable to your family, you should also be accountable to your future self. Anyway, my advice is to go to the AD, request if you could leave your contact number with them and request them to call you when the next batch arrives and wait patiently. Follow up with them by way of a phone call once in a while, but don't be too pushy. It is. If the AD doesn't provide such services, then you may have to pay them a visit once every two months just to get an indication. By then, if you have lost interest in the watch, then it means you have made the right decision of not getting it. Swatch will never abandon a sellable product if there is still a demand for it. So you don't really have to be too desperate for it. And that's just my two cents. So until the next one, thank you for watching.